This is an advanced troubleshooting video. If the basic no communication troubleshooting guide does not work, use these steps to eliminate a no communication situation. Prior to troubleshooting a no communication error, first ensure that the flashing light is for a no communication code and not for a security lockout. Unplug the four pin plug at the bumper and if the light slows down, then the light is considered a fast flash and indicates a security lockout. If the flashing light stays the same, proceed with this video. There are several tools that are optional and necessary to complete the advanced troubleshooting. Number one, make a jumper wire. This will allow you to bypass potential bad components and open wires. A three inch extension. Sometimes there is a loose connection between the controller and the vehicle harness. This three inch pigtail makes for a more secure connection. Diagnostic harness. This allows for troubleshooting without having to rely on someone else's help. It also saves time so you don't have to walk back and forth between the cab of the truck and the front of the truck. A multimeter. A test light won't work for advanced troubleshooting. You must be able to test voltage and ohms. Wiring diagram. Such as the one from the service school book. One of the common issues that is often overlooked is when the two four pin connectors under the hood of the truck can be swapped and plugged in to the wrong side of the harness. This is indicative of when the control has a blinking red light, but the backlight is not illuminated. If you have access to a diagnostic harness and you get a steady red light on the handheld control when using it, you have just skipped the vehicle control harness. So you know that you have an open circuit somewhere in that harness. Remove the plowing mode switch from its socket. Then hold the socket with the gray wire on top. Insert a jumper wire into the top right socket and the other end to a ground source. Check for a solid red light on the control. It is helpful to use the diagnostic harness for this step. Perform a continuity check on the plowing mode switch harness by placing multimeter leads into center sockets of the housing. The plow module should be sending around 5.4 volts to the center sockets on the plowing mode switch. Insert one probe into the top right socket, ensuring that the gray wire is on top. Then check for the voltage on both center sockets. Next, check for voltage where the control plugs in to the vehicle control harness. And there are two communication wires. One should have about 1.5 volts and the other around 3.5 volts. If you're utilizing a diagnostic harness as shown, repeat this procedure in the cab of the vehicle. Another way to test for an open on the orange wire is to insert a probe into the upper right socket ensuring that the gray wire is on top. Then place a probe into pin J on the plug that goes into port B on the plow module. This test will determine if the plowing mode switch is operational. With the switch facing away from you and in the detented position, place a multimeter lead in the top middle prong. Then place the other lead and the top lead closest to you. You should have a good ohms check. The rest of the points of contact on the switch will have an open circuit. Hopefully, by this point, you have found the cause of the no communication error and have become more familiar with the plow's electronics. Now it's time to get this plow back out there and get back to work.